Hi, my name is Jalen. Hi, my name is Mackenzie. And welcome to the Blue Devil Podcast. Do you like robots? Of course I do. Let's go see what the middle schools are doing with the bronze program. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about the robotics program. Okay, um, I just started this year, and at the beginning there were only like one or two girls, and then they all left. And then it was just me and uh, a girl in there. And then Laura came in. Mm -hmm. Seven and now there's three seventh grade boys. Seventh grade boys and then seventh grade girls. And we don't, don't always work on robots. Sometimes we pair up with the, seven, with the STEM mm -hmm. kids, which is eighth grade. And we do challenges like minute to minute and like building stuff with cardboard and creativity challenges and contests and stuff. And then we also have days to get ideas together to for the robot. And then we have like these mini robots that are like toys, but we build them and make them more than they are and then battle them with the other teams. Um, I think I'm taking another question. How do you like the program? Like, I know this wasn't a thing when I was in middle school, so like, how is it? Um, I, I like it. Um, I've done it since the first day of school, and I like it because it's, you can basically do whatever you want, but you have to like stick to the project, but you can do however you want and it's fun and the teammates are great and you get ideas from everybody. I think that's good. Hey, have you signed the beam yet? No, I haven't. Let's go sign it. This week, all the schools gather at the high school to celebrate the new school that is being built. Construction workers set up a stand that showed the blueprints of the new school, along with some virtual photos of what the school should look like. These virtual photos featured many new rooms and lounges and even a new basketball court. Elementary, middle, and high schoolers gathered to sign a beam which will be used to build the school. The new campus will unite all three schools, making it a K-12 through school. It's almost history month. Let's go hear about how it all started. Hey, it's almost history month, so let's talk about how it all started. Almost history month traces its roots back to March 8th and 1857, when various moves from New York City factories staged a protest over poor working conditions. The first Women's Day celebration in the United States was in 1909, also in New York City. More than seven decades later, Congress established a Women's History Week in 1981 to be commemorated annually the second week of March. In 1987, Congress expanded the week to a month, and every year since has passed a resolution, and the president had issued a proclamation designating March Women's History Month. And as we celebrate Women's History Month of 2022, we reflect upon the advantages women have ever made in the last decade. Women have increased their earnings, education, and fields of occupation, as well as continue to have a longer lifespan than men. So thank you for listening and happy Women's History Month. Did you hear about all the new sport events that's going on? No, I haven't. What's going on? Let's go hear about it. That was stupid. In the NBA, the Cleveland Cavaliers fell to the Minnesota Timberwolves. 127 to 122, the Cavs fought until the end but could not come up with the win. Kevin Love dropped 26 points, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. D'Angelo Russell dropped 25 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists, and helped the Timberwolves for the win. In the National Hockey League, the Columbus Blue Jackets lost to the Pittsburgh Penguins 32. Sidney Crosby, Alvgeny Malkin, and Chad Ruriedel all scored one point for the Penguins, and this was an exciting game to watch. The Blue Jackets had the lead in the second period, but could not keep up on the lead. Blue Jackets' next game is March 1st against the New Jersey Devils. Go Blue Jackets! In Wycliffe Sports, the boys' varsity basketball team lost to the Lutheran East Falcons 80-29 in the playoffs. The boys tried hard and fought until the very end. There was a lot of ups and downs this season, but the boys tried very hard in this season. We all go down looking forward to see what happens next season. Go Blue Devils!
You think Manuel board games are burning yet? I don't know. Let's go find out. Okay. Um, does your person have white hair? No. Okay. Is your person blonde? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Is your person blonde? <laughs> no. Dang. Is your person male? Yes. <laughs> your, is your, your person have a hat on? Yeah. Does your person have a hat on? <laughs> yeah. Oh, crud. Uh, is your person Rachel? No way! Stop it! I was... No! We had an eventful week. Yeah, I know. Tune in next week so we have a store.